recording. So welcome everybody, welcome to At Song Podcast. It is um, September the 12th today, 2024. And the topic for this evening is alchemy. So um, I find that the <clears throat> energies in the last, um, well, this week anyway, this week is, is really strong and I'm, I'm actually just getting used to it and recovering more from, you know, lack of sleep so I actually want to start the um, this podcast by just doing a presence meditation for my for my own good and maybe it will benefit from uh, all of you as well so let's do this just a very quick presence meditation so just take a deep breath in to so breathe in through your nose And let it all go. Breathe in another time through your nose. Breathe in as deeply as you can. And then breathe out through your nose as well. So a controlled breathing in and a controlled breathing out. And then breathe in one more time. And let it go. Continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention of elongating your breath as much as it is still comfortable for yourself. And the intention as you breathe in is to bring back your attention your energy, every thought of thinking of things to do outside of yourself, just bring those back. So all of your attention, bring it back to yourself as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, let go of anything that does not support you in this moment. Do the best you can to just stay in this moment. Stay in your body. Turn all of your senses to within yourself. Breathing back in your own energy, your own attention, your own creativity, your own power. Bring it back in to you and only you for this moment. And as you breathe out, let go of all the things that no longer support you in this moment. And when you feel more solid, when you feel your attention and energy more back into your own body, then shift your focus into your heart. And simply allow your heart to feel. to embody love for yourself. Choose to love yourself unconditionally in this moment.
feel love all over yourself, in your heart, especially, and all over. Allow the heart, allow the love within your body, within your heart, to simply radiate out. Focus all the love when into your heart and fill it up with so much love that it has no option but to naturally radiate out from abundance. from simply being able to embody this love. And when you can feel this love for yourself solidly and take one deep breath in. Let it all go. And come back to the room. Welcome back. Thank you, Dindi. You're welcome. <clears throat> so, alchemy. <laughs> Let's see. Oops. So what is alchemy? Let me just kind of give a very brief, um, I would say, statement of my very limited <clears throat> understanding what, of what alchemy is. Alchemy has been Alchemy is not something that is new. It's been it's been a practice between people who are speaking spirituality since as far back as human beings can remember. Alchemy is um I I, I think one of the ways that we understand um, that we had understand um, alchemy is through materials, like right? because we live in the matter world. So alchemy started off in as trying to change a something that is lead. Why lead? Lead because it's a very cheap and um, unimportant and very um, abundant metal is to take lead and you transform it through alchemical or chemical processes to change it into gold. So materialistically, that is what alchemy started as. That in the olden days, people, um, there are the, the mystery seekers trying to find how to change something that is lead. So unimportant, so, um, you know, so common into gold, which is prized and, um, and really precious metal. Why? Because they want to understand the chemical processes that change something from lead into gold. And those chemical processes actually can be translated into a um, metaphysical representation of the um, energy within our body that's being can be transmuted or can be transformed from the most 
um, I would say anger, all of those, you know, the most basest kind of energies or emotions. We can we can transform the lowest um, frequency into a much higher form. So that's what the alchemy really represents. In physical, physically is to understand the chemical processes that can actually transform lead into gold. And then um, the spiritual, corresponding spirituality understanding of it is that these chemical processes actually has a counterpart as emotional and um, consciousness shifts that can take us from the lowest of the low in terms of frequency and be able to flip it over into something that is much more transcendent. So that is really the study of alchemy. Okay, that that is my understanding of what alchemy is. So meaning in short is alchemy is really about transform transformation. It's about changing energy from one state to another, from one frequency to another. And that is alchemy. And why do I want to talk about alchemy? Because um, we are here to be alchemists. Because why am I here? Why are you here? You may think that you're here to you know, make a living, make a name for yourself, be, be a ballerina or be a doctor or just be happy, healthy, wealthy, or whatever it is that you want, you think you want to be. We, like from, from a certain point of view, yes, that's what we are, we think we are here to do. But in the background, what we are actually here to do is to transform our own soul energy. And um, we actually, everybody has that ability. You don't have to be um, a spiritual person to have that ability. And um, it's just that if you focus on it, you may be able to speed up that process. However, everyone, if you look at people out there, you can, you can just grab anyone and that's what they're doing in the very in a very unconscious way. And that's why we are here. We are here to transform energy. And the reason why I have a, a tree as the, the, um, the background is because um, nature transforms energy as well. Just like a tree can take energies from the sun and energy from the ground and be able to create something completely new as in leaves, tree trunks. And if, if that tree happens to be um, a fruit tree, then fruits will grow out of it. All sorts of exotic fruits will go, can, can be grown out of it. And why and how? It's just, there is nobody that, um, well, most of the time, unless it's, it's a house plant, then yes. We, we take care of the plants and we make sure that you know, we add some um, nutrients to the plant in order to help it to grow. However, any tree that is outside or any blade of grass that is outside, they can do that. They can transform energy naturally. And alchemy is really we are alchemists in that sense is that we naturally can transform energy. And that's why everyone is here. That's why we don't even have to be conscious that we are doing it because we are unconsciously, we are naturally here to do that without we even think about doing it. So, um, and we we have everything that we need in order to do that. 
Um, <clears throat> so what do I mean by that? Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I talked about um, so flames. So so flames is really our is a very specific so energy that we all bring here. We there are different colors. There's red. There's orange. Um, my, my, pretty much the the color of the rainbow. And those are some of the energy the 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 soul flames that we bring here. And I've kind of gone through the the qualities. So each of those soul flames is something that is within our soul, soul energy within us already. And why is it called flame? Is because it burns. What it burns, it burns away impurities. And that's um, that's what actually does the, the alchemical process. It burns away all of the um, energies within ourselves and within our surrounding that does not support the um it does not support the, um, the ideas or the consciousness of the flames, the soul flames that we bring here. So that's why just being here, just being, just living, you don't have to do anything um, or, or don't, you don't have to go and, you know, run for president or save animals. You don't have to do anything if you don't choose to. But just being alive, just being alive, you are already doing that energetically. The um, what? Why do I want to talk about alchemy? Because um, yes, we naturally do that. However, should you choose to, you can actually be more intentional and be able to also shorten that process. Instead of doing like transforming and learn, burning out all the impurities within your own soul, within your own experiences, um, it may let's say you can do it in ten thousand years. Just for example, you can shorten it if you want to to a hundred years. Should you want to, you may even shorten it to 24 hours for all I know. Is it really depends on how much or how fast do you want to do this? I remember a couple of years ago, uh, or like I'm when um, when things started to get a little crazy, and um, so. Let's say at first I actually stopped. Well, I stopped a long time ago. Uh, a long time being um, at least about five, ten years now. Okay, uh, uh, maybe more closer to ten years now. Is I don't watch television anymore. Uh, or I, what I should say is I don't watch cable television anymore. Uh, what I do is I actually choose, I consciously go and choose the things that I actually want to watch. So there, rather than trying to um, consume someone else's program, consume like different channels program that they have programmed for me to consume as entertainment is I choose to pick whatever it is that I want to spend my spare time with. So that is a, a difference. Is when you consciously choose to do something, then you um, transform that process. And what, what else do I want to talk about it is that, um, so, the first step I can think of myself is to really take charge of what it is that I consume, whether it is food, entertainment, people I spent time with, or um, 
projects that I spend time in. So choose the things that you do rather than the to have those things choose you. So that kind of is the first step if you want to shorten this process is to actually be more conscious of what it is that you put in your mind. And then um, next step is to, so first step is to control, have more control of what it is that you want to put in your mind, your body, all aspects of yourself. The next step is to actually, when you get strong enough, when you have developed more mastery, what you can do is the opposite, is to no longer control what you put in. Because you can get to the point of being such a master that you can watch cable television again. You can watch other people's program for you. But when you watch it, with consciousness, when you consciously remember who you are, when you consciously remember what is your your own um, values of the things that you actually choose to do, when you consciously remember that all the time, then you can actually let go of this control because no matter what is being put in front of you, you can always um, shift it into something that actually benefits you. You can watch um, very, I would say, distorted information and still you can actually get many layers of information that is beyond what the um, intent, the intention of the people who present those information to you. And you can actually go and look at the truth. You can actually find the truth in all of that unpolluted information because you're no longer distracted by the bells and whistles. You actually when you consciously know and get to the, the point of mastery of who you are, it, it does not matter anymore. So from starting to control everything that goes into you to no need to control because you have mastered your own mind, you've mastered your own body. That's kind of the, uh, the, the extremes. And it is about walking from one end to the other. Is to, should you choose to, of course, not, ev not everyone needed to do that. You can just allow nature to take this course and, 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 and go through the full 10,000 years to, to get to where it is that you want to. Or you can shorten it into 24 hours or even less. So... And it all starts with, um, I would say the, the easiest is to, the process of getting to know yourself, the process of letting go of all the things that are not you. And it's a tricky process because we've been so, we've tried on other people's and beliefs and you know, habits and all of that for such a long time that it's easy to forget who you are and the process of um, being an alchemist is to sift through all of that and then start to ask yourself the question of is this mine or is or not it's like something very simple. Is this mine or not? And no need to second guess yourself. You may be wrong today. Today you think, oh, okay, you know, wearing, let's say wearing this. Yeah, it's, it's not mine. It's something that, you know, somebody suggested I wear. And because I've been wearing it for so long, I forgot that it's not 
mine that I, I actually think that it is mine. So the first day I may not remember. I may say, ask the question, is this mine? And I may come up with the wrong answer. And that's okay. That's, but asking the question is really the first step. It's to always ask yourself, is this mine or not? If it's not yours, um, let it go. If you have the courage to do so. And it takes courage to let go of other people's clothes, beliefs, habits, all of that. It takes a lot of courage. And um, it's, it's okay to start slow. You may not have the courage today. But if you keep asking yourself the same question every day and keep choosing to let go of the things that are not yours every day, then some at some point you will get to mastery or more mastery that gives you the courage to actually just do things that are yours and only do those things that are yours and let go of trying to please other people or trying to fit in and you would um, stick to knowing yourself accepting yourself letting go of all the um, things that are no longer you uh, and just this is a uh, one day at a time one question at a time, one choice at a time. So that is alchemy. Questions, suggestions, comments so far before I continue? No, no questions. No, it was a uh, very self, like a detailed explanation. I really understood now. Thanks. Okay, great. Thank you for the feedback. I got a question. Sure. Um, since everything changes anyway, even with with or without us choosing to transform, I guess um, alchemy is when we choose to change as opposed to let things just change by themselves. Um, your question is to how do you choose? Um, the question is that you know, even if we don't choose, things change. So I guess we, we when we say that we're, we're, we're being alchemists, that means that we're choosing to change something, but things are always changing anyway. So we're just trying to control it. Yes? Um, okay, so. Very good question. Thank you for asking. <clears throat> and remember, we create our own world. Um, we create our own experiences. So you, by choosing to be the alchemist, um, how fast you want to, or how slow you want it to, it's how you can choose to create your own experiences. Okay. Things will change in a hundred years time. Right, right, yeah. Change, yes. Do you want to wait a hundred years to experience right. the change that it's going to grow into? Or do you want to actually shorten that to 24 hours? Okay. That is, yeah. that is the choice. There is no right and no wrong mm -hmm. answer. And only you can you know answer that question for yourself so in a way you know when you, you just say you just go with the flow 
But then there's another option that you can say that, no, I'm not gonna go with the flow. I'm gonna create my own version of reality, right? Yep. Yep, okay, the, thank you. The flow is going to go to the same place mm -hmm. eventually. It's just a matter of, this, is it gonna take 10,000 years or is mm. it gonna take 24? There are people that likes to go and experience the full 10,000 years. Like 10,000 is really just a number that I'm showing. It could be millions of years. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, it's, it's a, um, so that's why we each, each one choose what it is that we want to experience. We may not choose it consciously, but we definitely have chosen it unconsciously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And asking yourself the question of, is this me? Is this mine? Is actually the most important question that you can ask yourself. And, um, and depending on your answer, how you choose to react to your own answer is also uniquely yours as well. You may say, okay, I'm, I, uh, I'm not up for, you know, <clears throat> saying no to my mother today or tomorrow or 10 years but at some point you may want to change you may get to the point where you can change your mind and say okay yeah my mom wants me to do that but i am going to do something else because it's not me and there's no right or wrong answer no right or wrong action it's all your choice So, yeah, another word for it is free will, right? Yep, free will. Yep, free will. Are there things that is destined to happen? Yep, there are certain things that are destined to happen. However, you still have the choice to react or not react to it. There's, there are certain things that we, it's going to happen to everyone. Like we are all gonna die one day. Like, like no exceptions. But how do you choose to die? How do you choose to feel about dying? How do you choose to live each day until you die? That's that's something that you can choose. So that's what I mean by there are some things that has to happen and is beyond your control. However, you still have a control of what, how you react to it and how you respond to it. And um, that is still free will there. And why do I want to bring this up now? Because um, I remember some of you were, were listening to television and um, you know getting freaked out by the news out there. Yes, I know. <clears throat> the news uh, is kind of getting more and more distressing these days. I totally get it. And at one so the, at the first level is you may choose to not look at the news anymore and spend the time to do more self-mastery work. Maybe instead of you know, listening to the news every day, listen to it you know, once in a blue moon, uh, once a week or once a month just to make sure you don't 
miss out on any big events. However, when you get to some point in your self-mastery, you can actually consciously choose to watch the news. Not all the time, but you know, spend a bit more time. Give, let's say, 15 minutes or 30 minutes a day to watch the news, but don't watch it as don't don't watch it as um, something information that comes at you, but watch it as um, who you are, knowing who you are, and asking yourself the question of the information is coming in. Does it resonate? Does it feel real? Does it, um, what's the, the point of um, the person giving you this news? What is the, the, the purpose behind it? So instead of just taking in the information, is you able to take it apart and be able to look at the illusions and be able to see through it and only get at, there may be only one or two gems in 15 or 30 minutes that you are, you are watching the news. You may only be able to grasp that one idea that is going to um, shift you or, or you can actually learn something from that idea. And that's something that um, when you watch the news with consciousness, you that's how you actually alchemize the process because these these information, these news are being broadcasted out. It's kind of like um, <clears throat> hypnosis, you know. At no matter which uh, channel you, you you turn to, it's the same script or a very similar script. So it's kind of like um. You know, they, they use a, a particular script to you, hypnotize you into a certain frame of mind. But when you watch that same, I would say, hypnosis script, when you like, go through that and you do it consciously, you don't get hypnotized. You actually get all the information that's underneath it you actually get a lot of other things underneath it and of all the things that are underneath it because each time um, somebody creates a story, the story, the, the way they craft a story actually tells something that is true about the, the person crafting that story. No matter what the story is trying to hide, the the structure of the story, what is what the the choices that um, those stories are have been made, you there is truth in it. So when you look at something like the news or look at something that has a lot of other convoluted um, ideas, and you look at it from a conscious point of view you actually can see through all the layers and get the information that you actually are supposed to get. So that's one way of alchemizing the news as well. Because when you consciously watch something, it no longer works on you. Uh, their, their smoke screen no longer works on you. So the more it does not work on you, it actually starts to clean up. It starts to clean up the, the energy around these mass hypnosis. So that's how we alchemize. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's actually something that so simple just watching the news can be used as a, an example of alchemizing something. So there's nothing in life that we cannot alchemize, shift the energy because we don't, we think we live in, you know, body, but it's actually all energy. And when we are consciously 
choosing how to um, allow only the, the, the energy that supports us in, then it shifts the energy around. It actually helps you to become more coherent and also um, to easy, more easily get at what resonates with you and what does not. And you don't have to do it perfectly the first time. It may take you 10 tries, it may take you a thousand tries. But at some point, you'll be able to look at a news that is um, that has been designed to disillusion you and be able to actually get at the truth. No matter how many smoke, smoke, smoke screen that's being put up. So that is part of the, the process of alchemizing any aspect of life. Any other comments, questions? I have a comment. Um, the word that came to me, patterns and loops. And you use wonderful words and scripts and structure and all that, another word for this patterns, because you start seeing the patterns of these people that are trying to create. Yep. Yeah, whatever you're trying to create. So, so yeah. then when you see the pattern, then um, you can shift so that the pattern doesn't affect you. Precisely, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. See, I'm already doing that. <laughs> Good. Not just with the news, even with people. Uh, yep, you know? it's, it's everything. everything. Yes. Yeah, not just the news. It could be, you know, piece of clothing, a color, yeah. can be anything. Right, yeah. And um, this just, another thing came to me that um, there's a, maybe the largest pattern is the separation from source, being separate from each other and source. Um, I think that's something that we're all moving away from, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That's why there are so many um there there's so many ways that they're introducing to separate us. It used to be just male and female, now there are I don't know how many different mm. things. There are only there were only two genders at first and now they made it into I don't know <laughs> I forgot <laughs> so that's more separation right <laughs> that's yes. more separation mm. so yes separation is the game mm -hmm. <clears throat> thank you thank you for the question Mm -hmm. Any other comments? Okay, nothing else then. Um, let's do a meditation. <laughs> 